Hello teachers, I am Neha and today we will be discussing a lesson plan made by Mrs. Mangal Adhav in collaboration with Aisar Pune Science Activity Center. She has performed these activities in her classroom and shared her experiences with us. We will also be discussing those today. This topic is about something that is all around us and something that we make use of every day. In fact, our lives will be very very different without these. So to begin with, we can ask a series of questions to our students. Questions like how they get to school every day or how they travel from one place to another or how ice cream is made in their friend's birthday party. These kind of questions might help generate curiosity in their minds about simple machines. Questions like how food is cooked in a few minutes when they get very hungry or how color printouts can be taken for their school assignments in two minutes. These kind of questions will direct their minds towards thinking about how simple machines work. This video is about teaching simple machines in our classrooms. Even though we are surrounded by machines and are so so used to using them from a very young age, this topic is formally introduced to the students in 5th or 6th grades. So accordingly, we have designed a few activities. In this lesson, the students will learn about simple machines, their types and their uses in our daily lives. It's always good to introduce the topic with an activity. What we can do is show some photographs of gardens or a playground where a slide or a seesaw is available. Was sliding down the slide or playing on the seesaw effortless? Did it require you to apply a lot of force? Why is that so? This activity will probably encourage them to think about and notice different machines around them. More elaborate discussions and activities will help them understand this topic even better. While discussing types of simple machines, we can start by explaining what is a wedge. For this, we can ask the students to get a fruit to the class, say an apple. We can distribute knives or cutters and if you are not comfortable with giving them knives, we can give them butter knives, forks and spoons. This activity can be done in groups and of course under your supervision. We can ask them what is the best way of cutting this apple? What would happen if the knife is blunt or the fork is not pointed? Forks, knives and spoons are also simple machines that make our lives so simple. Wedges perform work on materials. Large wedge angles are used to cut material like wood but require a great cutting force. Ask them to list down wedges in their surroundings. Discuss their findings in the class. This lays a nice foundation for the next activity. For this activity, tie a rope to the weight. Hold this rope and lift at a certain height. Note how heavy it feels. Then make an inclined plane using cardboard and then hold a rope while resting the weight on the cardboard. Is it as heavy as before? Here you can make use of a weighing scale with a spring to make a more quantitative study. Students will naturally find the second way of lifting the weight much easier and you can ask them why. You can also ask them where they can find inclined planes to lift the weights. As homework, we can ask the students to find out what will happen if the slope of the plane was greater or lesser. After this activity, the object screw can be explained. Take a thick foam board and a screw. Try to insert the screw into the foam board by just pushing it. Now place the screw at another spot and rotate it about its vertical axis. The screw will nicely go into the board. After this demo, we can distribute screws to the students and ask them to examine their structure and discuss it with them. Now would be a good time to introduce the concept of pulleys. Pulleys are a great example of simple machines. Take the same weight and rope assembly that was used in the previous activity. Using a spring balance or simply your own judgment of weight and required force, Note how heavy the weight feels when you lift it vertically upward with the rope. Now make a pulley using an empty bobbin. 
and a rod or a cycle spoke like this. Now place the rope over this pulley and pull the rope. How heavy is the weight now? It is best to let the students experience the reduced efforts by themselves for them to fully understand the importance of this machine. We can ask them where they can find pulleys in their surroundings. Lifts or loading docks are some examples that can probe their thinking. The next activity is a fun activity. In this activity, let us ask them to balance a scale on a pen and then place an eraser on one side of the scale like this. Is their scale balanced on the pen? At what point is it balanced? Is it at the middle or to the side? What happens when they place the eraser on the scale? This activity forms the basis to explain load, fulcrum and different types of liver. We can also remind them of the seesaw in the garden and ask them to find the similarities between this activity and that seesaw. Following this, another activity can be done based on wheel and axle. For this, we need one small and one long piece of broomstick. Add some weight to the other end of the long broomstick, then just tie them both together like this. Balance it on the index finger and then spin it. This activity will help the students understand how the wheel rotates around its axis much like how this assembly spins around a finger. With the help of such activities, we can introduce simple machines to our students. And the discussions can lead to what kind of an impact these machines have made on our lives. By using cost-effective and easily available material, this lesson can be made more interactive and fun. We thought that the biggest advantage of this method was that it could make this lesson more lively. Instead of using only definitions, equations and diagrams, we can help our students understand and retain the knowledge better by taking a more activity and practical oriented approach. There are so many more fun activities for this topic that are given in the text lesson plan, the link for which is given in the description box below. I hope this helps in making this activity and lesson more fun. Thanks for watching.